What's up, everybody? It's Pain User. This is Cat's Pajamas. And we are bringing you a round of 256 game between Mask and Dignitas Show. Mask spawning as our orange Terran in the bottom position on Zelnaga Caverns. And at the top of the map, we have Show as our red Terran. We're going to have a TVT between two very good players here. And uh, I'm expecting a good game. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I, 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 the same. And looks like Mask is pointing out that they played at MLG last year. Show forgets and says, uh, yeah, hey, Pro, tell me, I, I forgot, you know, you middling pee on me of Dignitas. But nonetheless, <laughs> Show is uh, spawning as our red Terran player. Now, yeah, Zelda Cameron's kind of an interesting game for, or an interesting map for TVT as well. A lot of different strategies are pretty popular. A lot of harassment strategies do work pretty well, given the fact that you can float so many um, units around the Zelda Tower vision and things like that. So I would expect a fairly aggressive matchup for these two players. Yeah, indeed. One thing you've really got to watch out for on this map especially uh, is is to keep your production facilities away from the front of your base like that <laughs> and also the uh, the wall that runs along the top side of your base for the bottom position and the wall that runs on the bottom side of your base at the top position. Uh, it's really easy to get into position there with some early siege tanks, um, start elevating tanks up one at a time. You can really camp their production facilities and yeah. it's just such a pain in the ass to deal with that whole situation. Um, it's definitely something that a lot of players shoot for in the mid game. Some players even go for really, really early uh, siege tank medevac marine pushes and just try and immediately start elevating uh, at the beginning of the game you can also push the front of the base relatively aggressively on this map but uh, both players look like they're headed towards uh, a relatively early expand here both players actually have the gas as well so um, just gonna see what what they do how they transition from here whether it's gonna be tech labs or factories we do have a marine on the way for show marine on the way for mask as well so nothing out of the ordinary just yet yeah mask does catch wind of a wall starting to go up at dignitas's show at the front of his ramp looks like show is going to show a little bit of good control he doesn't quite kill the scv the scv gets away with three points of health that uh, scv is going to go back and get a couple of bandages back at home uh show of course trademark no scout whatsoever just going to go ahead take the incremental macro advantage that keeping that worker in his base does do um, knows exactly what he does against Terran players on this map so he is not going to worry about it at all there we go show putting up a factory and gas number two at the moment on the other hand mask is just throwing up his factory no sort of add-on for this barracks looks like he's going to run up with a couple of the marines here to the western cell naga tower the eastern cell naga tower my apologies um there we go finally gas coming down for mask as well so things set up for a pretty standard marine tank build for uh, mask as well so nothing too terribly out of the ordinary for these two players yet yeah, both players are actually getting their second gases, um, so we're not going to see a quick CC from either. Uh, they are going to be teching. The question is to what, and there we go. Mask has dropped his starport, as has Show. so both players going straight to starport, uh, not getting any add-ons on their factories either, and this proxy starport from Mask is in a very interesting spot. It looks yes. like... Um, he might be trying for the super quick elevator with a medevac, and he might follow that up with a banshee. Uh, and we do have a tech lab coming now on Show's factory. So Show is not going to be producing Hellions this whole time. That's very important to note. Uh, he And loses that initial Hellion at the Zell Naga Tower. This could oh. be absolutely terrible for Show if this is some kind of an elevator play from Mask. We'll have to see what he gets. And he gets a tech lab immediately, so he's going for a very quick banshee here. Uh, he is going to have to break through the front, though, with Without that, and it looks like he missed just a little one pixel yes, off there, did. so has to relocate that starport. His banshee is going to be uh, quite a. Uh, it's actually they're going to be at roughly the same time because he did pre-build that tech lab, um, so the banshees are going to be coming out relatively even. He did invest that 200, 200 in cloak though, so he's not going to have that much to hold this off. Oh, and show he was caught a little bit out of position right here, and these hellions are going to get into a significant amount of damage to all of those marines. Looks like mask is going to be able to. Well, actually, those are very low health marines, but it looks like mask does have enough forces to clean that up and now show pretty importantly doesn't have anything to defend against a banshee whatsoever looks like he's putting a reactor down on this factory so we are going to have a tech switch here i guess when cloak does get done but for the time being this will help him get out a uh, sheer number of units here for a little while mask just continually reinforcing he does not want to let up on the pressure because he does have banshee number one coming out and uh if shows is out of position which it looks like it's going to be a very long ways away um here comes mask now he's going to move in with this 
Banshee. It looks like oh, we have a little bit of a tech switch going on right now. So Sho is going to be able to put down a bunch of Marines, but that's not going to be for a little while. He has almost no anti-air to speak of whatsoever. That does force Sho to turn around with his own Banshee. So here comes Maskey. He's going to make his way up. He has already killed one mm. Supply Depot. If he gets a second here, this is going to Supply Cap Sho very, very badly. And the Supply Depot is going to burn to the ground. There it goes, stopping the Command Center progress as well, stopping these Marines, and Sho is basically going to lose everything here. Yeah, there's really nothing Sho can do at this point. He has no anti-air. He has those two lanes on the ground. Sho does have two Banshees in the air, but he has nothing that can attack that Banshee. He needs to get a Viking out, and he needs a Raven as well, because keep in mind, Mask does have Cloak. It is finished, uh, and doesn't even need to use it at this point, because he's taking virtually no damage, and so many SCVs going down for Sho. This is absolutely terrible. Uh, he is going to try and send one of his Banshees to Mask's main, but little does he know, Mask already has missile turrets up all around his main, and he's getting the high sec auto turret upgrade. So, actually, I don't mind that at all from Mask. He's no. so far ahead right now. The one, the only thing, his only worry should be, you know, how to keep himself alive from those Banshees. And I really like the play of, of dropping all those extra missile turrets. He can afford it. It's not a big deal. And that scan going down, but not even enough to kill a single Banshee. There's still, still two Banshees in the base. And is that a third Banshee? or a Viking on the way. Yeah, it that looks like that banshee. was a Banshee, but Sho is forced to GG, so very nice play there. Out of mass, keeping up that hyper-aggression ended up working out very well for him. Yeah, it did work out very well for him, and uh, really, that just boiled down to the proxy right there. He, if, Interestingly enough, uh, if Sho had continued on to Mask's base with that first Banshee instead of turning around, uh, he might have been able to do quite a bit of damage because they both had Cloak at relatively similar and times. at that stage in the game, uh, there were actually no forces prepared for Mask whatsoever. No sort of anti-air that was yeah, set up yeah. in his base. I don't even think he had the engineering bay up. It was only started as soon as he saw the Banshee. As soon as he saw the Banshee. Exactly. Yeah. And when that Banshee was coming across, Show would have been able to get in and do just as much damage to Mask. Yeah, so it was very interesting that he, he decided not to do that. But anyways, Mask, uh, after stating that Show pantsed him at MLG at the beginning <laughs> of the game, uh, takes game one pretty handily. I mean, at the end of the day, though, uh, games like that in TVT, it's like, it's really just luck of the draw. Like, that, you know, that happens sometimes. It's just the, the way things unfold. Show obviously wasn't prepared for the Banshees, so Mask taking a game one, and we will be right back for game two. Stay tuned. <laughs> 